An upper level low west of the forecast area will move over the forecast area and position itself in a perfect area for widespread shower and thunderstorm activity through at least Friday or Saturday. Your forecast starts now. Alright, welcome to Southern California WeatherForce.com. Let's run right into an upper level low just to the west of the forecast area today, putting the Kern County Valley and Mountain areas in perfect position for upper level divergence. Already got instability developing out there uh, this afternoon. So yes, the R severe thunderstorm watch has been issued here at Southern California WeatherForce.com for hail, downpours, uh, strong winds, and you, you name it, whatever you have for severe thunderstorms, very likely we'll see some warnings out in Kern County Valley and mountain areas today and that'll wear down through the night. Now as the night goes on in the evening uh, in through your Friday we have a very large thunderstorm watch box I just issued uh, this morning and this is for widespread thunderstorm activity gonna be possible hit and miss but majority of you within this thunderstorm watch uh, will see uh, lightning with this one so lightning and thunder very prominent with this storm system as it drops directly over the area of Southern California on Friday. So very widespread shower and thunderstorm activity uh, moving into the area. We could get some some severe storms out there, uh, but right now I'm just gonna be issuing just that very widespread thunderstorm watch because as the upper level low moves directly over the area, it is very hard to pinpoint who is gonna see more than the other. Whereas today, the Kern County area is positioned to the east of the upper level low, which makes it a good area of lift well, that's an area, a good area to uh, pinpoint, but for our area of Southern California, for the deserts, mountains, valleys, and coastal areas, for widespread thunderstorms, that's when the upper level low comes directly overhead and just kind of sits there. Not much storm movement on Friday, so we could get some uh, flooding in some areas out there. My main concern is going to be uh, overnight and into uh, Friday mornings for down in the San Diego uh, coastal and valley areas. It's a very possible that an upper level divergent area will move into your area so you will have some uh, better chance of thunderstorms uh, more than just hit and miss down there. And as that upper level low moves off to the east we'll get to drop down of northwest to southeast flow on your Saturday with leftover residual moisture uh, mainly against the valleys um, near the mountains so foothills and mountain areas mainly the inland areas like we saw with the last systems like a week ago or so not much of the coastal areas so your Saturday it's mainly gonna be for the inland areas so we do have the upper level low moving towards the forecast area putting the Kern County area for that severe thunderstorm watch that I have issued on the site and widespread thunderstorms on Friday elsewhere not much is gonna be happening for the San Luis Obispo or Vandenberg because it looks like the upper level low is dropping just over you right now and not much upper level divergence for widespread thunderstorm activity in that area so stay tuned to southern california weatherforce.com